All right. We are at the Hyatt Marmonte in Santa Barbara. And, uh, hmm. This is me being cooperative. Um, I booked the, we were supposed to be in Hawaii mid August of 2023. 20, Terrible things going on on Maui. We decided to leave that alone. Decided to go to Southern California instead. There's a hurricane coming through here too, but I don't think it's that severe. It's like a two hour thing. The Marmonte is in Santa Barbara and it is, we flew in here nonstop from Sacramento, 55 minutes flight, beautiful. View here is of the, whoa, that's nice. It's an idiotic design, especially since this is as far as it goes. And the balcony outside with the car and platforms pumping the good old stuff there it is oceanfront as promised i booked it one night paid corporate rate about 300 something dollars and then a free night which is this one which i booked a king they gave me two queens is what they call this i'm not sure if i want to call it a queen but uh, maybe it is and there you have it a couple of waters Got a coated coffee machine, and then you got the fridge, the safe. Should clean the fridge; it's a little dirty inside. Got a TV. You got a wall air conditioner. I mean, in this area, it's like you don't really need the air conditioner on the water, but it can get hot. Not here on the waterfront, though. Joining door. Another thing that's a little bit iffy. Let's check out the bathroom. Let's see, and here we have, let's see what they have here. A shower cap, a lather, bamboo cream moisturizer. Got a dude diving off a cliff, a couple of robes. It reminds me of the uh, Figueroa. Uh, charming and stuff like that but you know it can easily make to be looked a lot better and you know I have a corporate rate that gives me about two three hundred bucks off a night you know, or it's like six seven hundred a night here right now which I would be pissed if I paid it's a little bit icky um, not icky it's just a little you know old feels a little old to me a little bit old you know one chair and not matching and that kind of stuff. So, but the view is great. Santa Barbara is awesome. And uh, we chose this literally because it was in the city instead of being, there's a Hilton right down the way that way. And then you have this one, which is right here. It's pretty quiet and you got the adjoining door and we'll see how that goes. But so far, I mean, it's fine. I kind of don't not dig in the fact that it's two double beds, but we'll have to make the best of it. And uh, so, uh, breakfast and parking is free because I use points, but I am a little bit iffy about it. I've read somewhere online that they have uh, some restrictions with the, with, the, um, with the breakfast and stuff with Globalist, but I'll report back when I come back to that. So this is the Marmonte in Santa Barbara, California. Tommy Danielson signing off and enjoy your day. All right. It is Saturday, day after check-in. Uh, close to noon here at the Marmonte in Santa Barbara. Gorgeous day as we're waiting for the hurricane that uh, is supposed to show up, but it looks like it won't. Thankful for that. But let's talk about this place. I was supposed to stay till over the weekend till tomorrow, Sunday. Um, so you see from the video, we got two full-size beds. We had confirmed and guaranteed a king. And because of a wedding, uh, we booked this room like two days ago with the king still available. I don't think it was available already. Um, they said yesterday that they would try to get us into a king today. But since it was an upgrade, um, then we were SOL on pretty much anything. So this is the room we were given. 
two beds was the only option. We kind of don't want to have two full-size beds because we're not in college anymore, so we decided to leave early. Uh, front desk, uh, arrogant and uh, and absolutely, and I uh, honestly did, I did, I made a chill approach to it. I called them and I said, hey, I wanted to help you guys out. You said it was a queen bed, one queen bed. This, uh, this room has two uh, full-size beds. And uh, since I'm here with my wife, I don't kind of want that. And I said, sorry, it's the only thing we have. And I was like, well, globalists have a guaranteed king bed. What are you going to do about it? Sorry, that's all we have. All right, so that was the end of that. I said, we are going to check out tomorrow. The first night, as I told you yesterday, is on points. The second one was on our corporate rate for tomorrow, which has a 4 p.m. same day cancel, meaning that there were two reservations and we um, are checking in for the other reservations tomorrow at 4 p.m. Yeah, I have up until they'll tend to cancel, so I can still cancel tomorrow. And she said, no, you can't do that. You have to call World Hyatt. I said, no, I don't. It's two reservations and the second one has flexibility. I can fan cancel until 4 p.m. yesterday. And she put me on hold for like 20 minutes, came back and not 20 minutes, 15 minutes, came back. And she was like, yeah, the, the manager has made a one-time extension. I was like, exception, one-time exception. And you can check out tomorrow. And I was like, you know, my leash, thank you very much. That's so kind of you. It's like, you know, F you. It's, it's, you know, whatever. I didn't say anything. I was just, oh, thank you very much. That was the end of that. This morning we went to breakfast. Breakfast was actually really good. You can go to the Costa or to the Cafe Coffee Shop. Um, and you get $35. They, I hate it when they do put a number on it. At least it wasn't 24. It's uh, 35 right now. So plenty. Melinda had a really expensive smoothie. She had a bakery basket and an avocado toast. I had a bagel with cream cheese and a very nice fruit plate. I had a couple of do double espressos and uh, it was really a couple of double espressos. She had a mint tea. It came to like 60 something dollars. So not super expensive, um, but uh, we were able to get under the allotted $70 with $4 to spare. So we'll see how it goes when we check out. I hope it'll go great. We're gonna go to the Ritz Carlton, which is gonna review next. It's in uh, next town over. I'm gonna stay there for tonight. With the club level upgrade, and uh, we'll catch you there. But you know, if this if this right now people paying six hundred dollars a night for this, I was paying three hundred ish, and then I don't have to pay the resort fee, um, and that kind of and the parking. But uh, as a globalist. Because I had the first night was uh, technically I was supposed for the second night to pay for parking, but nevertheless, um, I, it's not even worth three hundred dollars. I was going to pay here for that night. Uh, it usually in the winter is about two hundred to two fifty. I would say it's great for that, but uh, I would not pay any more than that. This is a uh, has nothing to do with uh, luxury. It has nothing to do with any of that. The front desk is poor and arrogant, and uh, like, while I haven't really addressed anything. But for me as a globalist to uh, not get my uh, preferred, uh, the, the guaranteed bed type I, I uh, booked, I think is lame. And not doing anything about it and shrugging your shoulders is even worse. Tommy Daniels is signing off. And it, oh, and if uh, there's no more video, uh, that is the end of this day. If uh, there's any problems with the bill and parking and things like that, I'll get back to you.